Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Boss Nasty Silva, representing Call of Duty Esports here. Damage finally at MLG Dallas. We just walked in the doors. I found myself a girl gamer. I'm so excited. I'm tingling in my pants. Someone that looks like, damn it, what's that guy? The rocker from American Idol. I forget his name. Last season did really well. Yeah, no, not, well, okay, yeah, him too, possibly. Is that bad? Are we not on the same page? No. Yeah, fine with me. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He just pretty much just calls me an asshole indirectly. Like, yeah, that was so offensive. Okay, what's your guys' names? Start with you. What are you doing here? Alicia, and I'm here for League of Legends. Okay, how about you? Sean, League of Legends. Everything else is just shit. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, concur? <laughs> no, no. no I, I play I play Black Ops 2, yeah. Okay. Not competitively or anything like that, but I've got it on my computer and I play it and it's fun. I got you. Yeah. So just StarCraft is shit. Yeah. So nice. Do you guys play competitively, League, yourselves? Uh, yes. Okay. What do you play? Uh, Give me the details. What's your role? Name? I, how long? I support Leona. My gamer tags make me a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> Damn, damn. I mean, that is not like something that you that you know you hear the gamers saying to their moms when they're in their room and they're like yelling downstairs like, "Mom, make me a sandwich." My name is Butt Pirate in game, and I play mid. And I just like to like dominate the crap out of people. Okay. They're, like bigger, you know, anything with like super high burst and like so much risk, it's almost not worth playing. How long have you guys been playing League for? Um, about a year, a year and a half. Okay. Uh, like two years, pretty much. Yeah. Middle, uh, season one. Middle season one. What intrigues you? watching League of Legends, like, why did you get into it? What is it about League that just you're obsessed with? What's going on? Um, I got into it because of him, and because he was always playing, and I don't have nothing to do. Okay. So, um, and I like playing for, to, like, learn, like, skill-wise. I got into it because basically all my roommates and, like, all my friends played it, and it was just, like, something we could all play together, and just, like, mess around, and then, like, after, like, a month or two of messing around, we're like, hey, this is actually fun. Let's keep playing seriously. Now, is there anyone here that you guys are looking forward to seeing? Looking forward to watching a team? You got a favorite player? Yeah, I'm a TSM fan. <laughs> TSM. Of course. TSM. TSM. <laughs> yeah. I love it. He, he, he's got the twang, the twang. And favorite player on TSM? The odd one. Okay, why? He's just hilarious. If you hear, if you watch him stream, he's just so funny. Okay, you? Yeah, I one's definitely like the sleeper personality of the team. But my favorite player on TSM is probably either Reginald or Dyrus, just because when Reginald gets going, he like face stomps, and when he doesn't, it's funny as well, just because of his personality. Yeah. And it's, it's funny, and, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but there's always been that kind of back and forth with Reginald. Some people say like, oh, you know, maybe he doesn't deserve to be on TSM. Maybe he's a replacement. Maybe he's just not as good as the rest of the players. Is that something you guys agree with? I think. Reginald is good. He gets full of himself a lot, but he's like admitted like that's his personality. And I don't know. I just think he's entertaining enough to still enjoy watching and supporting. Do you, you agree? I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of words on that question. Okay. Godwin and Dyrus. Uh, when it comes to being here at MLG event, what number is this for you guys? Uh, this is number one for me. Okay. All right. Say again. What? Uh, how many events you've been to for MLG? This is my second. second yeah. Okay. And uh, how? What was the first one you attended? Uh, the fall fall championship. How do you like the new layout from attending a previous event to now? Okay. I definitely am gonna. Lots to say. I'm gonna enjoy being able to see the commentators this time, like for league. That was when I was like, where is Freak? I just want to see Freak's like beautiful attire and face. So. And and the tons of damage hat. Exactly. Like yeah, tons of damage. Like jungler, everything. Jungle karma. Yeah. Like that's an upgrade for me, definitely. Like if Riot was here and they're watching this video and they say, hey, we're looking at our people that play our game, what's some feedback you would give them? Constructive criticism at all? Maybe something they can improve on? Okay, um, all right, guys, well, e pretty much everyone complains in lower elo where I am like in matchmaking, gold three and under because that's like a lot of the player base is stuck down there. And like maybe they could be have a better way of organizing that. Because I know whenever I read on the forums, they're talking about they just want to level it out, balance people out before they start making any kind of changes. And I can respect that, but maybe they could add something to, like, eliminate the more toxic players. Like, uh, maybe if four people agree to vote, they can vote kick someone. Okay. Maybe have, like, a, a WoW-style uh, matchmaking where you just choose, oh, I want to play mid. But that, would, that could eliminate, like, any chance of leaving the meta, so... But I don't know, I would like to see a change just as an experiment basis, maybe even on just PBE. And I'll say this, before we get to you on that question, I'll say this, I am a 100% believer, and they need to come out with like, hey, when I go into ranked, like that, that's something that discourages me from going into ranked, because you go in ranked and you solo cure your duo, and everyone's like, oh, I wanna play mid, or I wanna play top, and you just have like two, three people wanna play the same position, and it just seems like 
allowing them to pick before you go into ranked, and then you just match up with your support, your AD, you get to match up with your jungler, your mid, your top, and everyone plays their role that they selected before going into match. Like, I just feel like that would alleviate anything. I don't, maybe it's me, maybe I don't see how that would ruin the meta, because you're still gonna play your champions anyways, but now you just actually get to team with people that, you know, you don't have to like worry about any bickering or whatnot going on. But also, let me ask you this. Do you think maybe another kind of issue is that you can't talk, there's no voice, there's no way you can like voice communicate, it's all via text? Is that... Okay, you're smiling, what's going on? Like, you mean like built-in voice chat? Yeah, like the option to do that. Definitely, like, don't they have that in Dota 2? Yeah. Like, and that that was like fresh off the market and they, they had that already. I feel like at the very least they should include that and then you can have the option to mute it on and off, so what's the what's the harm? That's true. Okay, do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. And that would make it so much easier because you have these these idiots. You have these idiots that are just saying nothing. Okay. Ten seconds. Well, you weren't talking about her because you put you put your hand on her on her shoulder and you're like and you're like these idiots. Uh, okay, 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 okay. She's great at AD carry. Um, like people want to play mid Nautilus or whatever, and like I guess that's fine. It kind of changes things up, but they don't say anything and they pick it auto lock. It's yeah. like. Psh, GG, everybody hates you in Team Champ Select. I think basically when you buy a new champion, you shouldn't allow them to immediately go into rank to be able to play that champion they just bought. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, like, for example, you could buy the champion, but maybe you got to wait like three days before you can play it or something? Maybe, yeah, something like that. Maybe do a few normals because there's so many people I go in and they're just like, oh, first time, and I'm like, all right, cool, thanks. Okay. So maybe like a restriction, like you got to play like five normal games before you can use this champion in rank. Right, yeah. Any shout outs, plugins you guys want to give? Go ahead. Um, I guess shout out to Professor Titty and Professor Jeeps. Okay. <laughs> they're the best players in eight, without a question. Um, and they're looking for a top lane, like Diamond here. They're making a team. So just add uh, Dean Beast in game. And uh, yeah, basically everybody watching out there, we love you. And yeah. Hey, uh, Twitter's your networks. Where can people find you? Uh, just Facebook. I don't tweet. I, maybe MySpace, what Tim was saying earlier. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, how about you? Twitter? I know, I just Facebook. I don't tweet either. No Instagram, no Twitter. What's going on these days? Okay, no problem. I think we're probably just going to end it here, man. It's getting too intense. Man, we're here with some two lovely people. We're going to be tuning in with y'all a little bit later. We're going to go find some more random people to hackle. Haggle, hackle. Not really too sure what we're going with there. But yeah, man, we'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace. Gamer Grub is available at these fine retailers.